Um, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Sherry Parrott, and I am the pastor's wife of the Beacon of Hope Pentecostal Church in Platte City, Missouri. I'm very excited that Sister Erin Holmes has invited me to do a devotion on the topic of parables, and my specific parable is the humbled guest out of Luke chapter 14, verses 7 through 11. And I'm very quickly want to read this passage, and if you'll stay with me, I'll give you the comments that I feel like God has given me to bring forth from this parable. Um, in verse 7, it says, And he put forth a parable to those which were bidden, when he marked how they chose out the chief room, saying unto them, When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room, lest a more honorable man than thou be bidden of him. And he that bade thee and him come and say to thee, Give this man place, and thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. But when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room, that when he that bade thee cometh, he may say unto thee, Friend, go up higher. Then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee. For whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. And so um, what I want to say about that is it's pretty self-explanatory. And I, I agree with that. In fact, um, in the Apostolic Bible that I'm reading out of the Apostolic Bible, uh, there are several parables mentioned here. And they went chapter 14, 1 through 6, and talked about that parable. Then they went to chapter 14, verses 12 through 14, and they talked about that parable. Then they talked about the, the end of the chapter of another parable. And they just let that one go because it's that self-explanatory. So I, I know that it is easy to think about it and say you shouldn't think more of yourself and put yourself in a higher position than you really are. But what I saw out of this scripture, it says, And he put forth a parable to those which were bidden, and that's talking about Jesus. It says, when he marked how they chose out the chief rooms. So I looked up that word marked in the Greek and my Strong's Concordance. It's um, epheko, if I said that right. And it means paid attention. Jesus is paying attention to our actions and to our attitudes. And when he saw that action and attitude, he redirected. You know, he was very kind about it. He just was straightforward. And he's like, here's what you want to do. Here's how you want to um, show yourself in this circumstance. But I want to say that Jesus pays attention to all of our actions and all of our attitudes. And um, specifically in that area of pride, which is basically what that what happened there, is uh, someone just sort of feeling entitled. They felt entitled to that place. They didn't ask, is uh, you know, do we have name cards or <laughs> is there certain tables that we're we're supposed to assign seating or anything like that? They just went in, and I think that that is what Jesus is speaking to to that action of just assuming that they should have the best. You know, the Bible says that we should esteem others, even above ourselves. And in this circumstance, I know we're talking about being seated and and maybe even we have been in those positions where, you know, we came in and just sat down and someone said that to us, oh, we're going to set so, you know, so and so there and it is it is very very embarrassing. But this is not a lesson about seating arrangements. This is a lesson about our opinion of who we are. And we need to understand that we are all equal at the foot of the cross. And I know, you know, I'm not saying this to anyone or 
any specific, you know, of all of you that this is what you're doing. I'm just saying that we need to pay attention to what Jesus is paying attention to. If he's paying attention to how they were behaving at a wedding and how, where they were sitting, he is paying attention to how we're interacting and what our attitude is as well. And we need to be conscious of that. We want to be pleasing in our actions and our relations, our relationships of who we are in Him and who we are to others. And um, in Him, He is highly exalted. And we, we are, you know, we are very, very abased in His presence. But He loves us so much that He wants to teach us. He wants to help us to put others above ourselves. And when we do that, guess what he does? Out of verse 11, whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. He will bless us when we consider others first and consider them better than ourselves. And um, we're conscious of that because he's paying attention to that attitude and action in our lives. God bless you, and um, I'm really thankful for this group. I'm thankful for you.